The ignition is on. All right, this is a, a GT4 car. The ignition is already on. I'm going to now connect the USB. First thing I'm going to do is find out if I've got communication with the board. This is the tuning software, and right now you can see we're in the settings page. We're going to be working inside of zero travel. We're going to zero the uh, ride height sensors. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into tools. We're going to go into switched input, and I'm going to take a look at the ride height nail to see if it even needs to be worked on. So I'm going to look at the travel right here of the four corners of the car. You can see I did the right front, left front, right rear, left rear. Oops, wrong one. Left rear. Okay, so there's probably some other logging getting done in here. So I'm going to go ahead and now send that. And that set of instructions is now to the EEPROM. And I'm going to go into the record mode. Remember, the key is on before I connected the USB. So I'll go ahead and look at this in text. And we start it by the bubble right here. Turn that on. And you can see that I'm minus 16 mil there, minus 54 mil there, 6 or real close to 0. Um, so it is off a little bit. This car needed to be adjusted. Right now the car is level, driver in the car. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit here. Remember always when exiting recording, turn it off first. I'm going to go ahead and close this box. And I'm now going to go into zero travel. It's going to say zero to zero, and I'm going to say yes. And this now is the actual um, ride heights that I'm now going to burn into the EEPROM. So, done. First thing I'm going to do is reset the board, and what that does is just kind of reboots the processor. So that's now I'm going to go back into record. And I'm going to take a quick look and see if I if I did that. And I'll go into the text. And lo and behold, look at that. And if I bounce the car, you can see the you can see the ride height sensor is changing. Anyhow, that's a quick tutorial in uh, setting the ride height sensors to zero. This car is now done. Completed that easy. If you don't want to look at the data, you don't have to, but it's always a good idea to familiarize yourself with the data. It's a very good tool, and it did show that this car truly did need to be zeroed. Now, once it's zeroed once, this does not have to be done again. The only time it would ever have to be done is if you were changing firmware or the operating instruction for the, um, for the processor. So, that is it. Oh, I'm not going to cancel that. That's all.